Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is ransomed MongoDB databases. If you haven't heard of MongoDB, it's a pretty popular open source and free database server, specifically a NoSQL server that's pretty popular in cloud instances. In the past, it's been known for having some pretty insecure defaults. Uh, back in 2015, a researcher actually used Shodan, which is an internet scanning tool, to find a whole lot of MongoDB instances that still had a default anonymous user that would pretty much give anyone on the internet access to the full MongoDB database on those servers. In fact, this researcher said he could access about 600 terabytes of data from all these insecure MongoDB database servers. More recently, in a Bleeping Computer blog post, another researcher who also follows these insecure MongoDB servers has noticed a server that seemed to have been hijacked and taken over by some threat actor that's asking for a ransom. Basically, they seem to have used some insecure defaults to gain access to the server, export its database, and then actually overwrite the database with a ransom message basically saying they want around 200 US dollars or specifically 0.2 Bitcoin to get your database back. According to the same author, it's not just one MongoDB server. The authors actually had a number of people that run MongoDB servers contact them to get some help in figuring out this issue, and it really seems to stem from those people actually using some insecure defaults in MongoDB, which existed in some previous versions of the popular database. Now, you can't really call this ransomware. Uh, the author of the Bleeping Computer Post says he doesn't call it ransomware because it doesn't encrypt things. It just exports and deletes your database. However, to me, you don't have to encrypt things to be ransomware. Old ransomware actually just locked your computer. The reason I don't call this ransomware is there doesn't seem to be any malware were involved. This seems to be some sort of manual attack or an automated network attack where some threat actor is actively just taking advantage of flaws in bad MongoDB installations. To actually be ransomware, or more specifically even crypto ransomware that does encrypt files, there has to be some malware involved. In any case, what should you do about this? Well, if you're not a MongoDB administrator, you don't have to worry about it. But if you are a MongoDB administrator, there are simple steps you can take to actually lock down your server. Things like making sure to have authentication and removing guest anonymous accounts. Also things like making sure it's firewalled and only exposed to people that need access to it. Rather than going through all these tips, I'll just be sure to have a link in my blog post associated with this video that will share some of the MongoDB security tips. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.